In this video, we will be looking at the Choice activity in Moodle 2.0. This module provides a means to run polls, elections or general information gathering from participants in the course. It creates a single multiple choice question that is not graded but can produce an immediate bar graph result. Firstly, in your course, make sure you have turned editing on either by clicking the button in the top right or by clicking Turn Editing On in the Settings block under Course Administration. Under the Add an Activity drop down menu in one of the topic boxes down the middle, choose Choice. Give your choice a descriptive name. Write introduction text. This should contain the question or instructions for what the students are supposed to do. You can limit the number of responses allowed for each option here by enabling the setting. Write your options and if you enabled limits, remember to put those in for each option. If limits are disabled, then the limit fields are also disabled. More options can be added using this button if needed. You can restrict the answering period. Students would then not be able to submit a response outside of these times. Display mode sets how the options are displayed to students, either horizontally across the page or in a vertical list. This setting decides how the students' results are displayed. The results can be available only to the teacher, to the students only after they answer, to the students only after the time period has closed, or shown to the students at all times, even before they have put in their own response. If results are shown to students, then you can decide if they are anonymous with a simple bar graph with numbers of results only, or full results showing which students voted for what or who. You can allow students to update their choice if they change their mind. You can show a column on the bar graph to indicate how many have not yet answered. Click on Save and Return to Course to view your choice activity. Click on your choice activity name. You can see that as a teacher you can also participate in this activity. You can also view responses. Teachers will always be able to see which students voted for what, no matter what the choice settings were. The responses can also be downloaded into different formats for further analysis or to use in a different program. Once some students have answered, this is what the responses page would look like. And this is how the bar graph is displayed after the choice has closed or if the results are displayed immediately to students.